Okay, we're back. Or rather, the disembodied right shoulder and arm is back. Uh, I'm Sebastian for Extreme Tech. Uh, yesterday I showed you uh, my initial thoughts about a multi-monitor desktop, Windows 8. I've now been playing with it for a whole day. Uh, I wrote a few stories this morning on Windows 8. I've had a couple of crashes, but otherwise it's okay. As you can see also, my t-shirt is the same color as the screen. I thought that would be a nice touch. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, gaming on the multi-monitor Windows 8. Uh, let's just dive straight in with... Well, okay. We'll start with one that I know doesn't work. This is Portal 2. Um, I have the latest audio drivers, the latest video drivers, um, but it seems some Steam games don't work. Oh, I do have audio. Okay. I lied. Let's turn that down. Uh, this gets all the way through to this menu, and then we get a fatal error. Come on. There we go. Let's stop. Uh, Dota 2, on the other hand, does work. I haven't actually... Have I played this? I don't think I've actually played this yet. So we'll see what the performance is like, just quickly. It's not a particularly good demo. Uh, it's quite a quite a low quality game. Well, the graphics aren't particularly strenuous. It's not Crisis 2. Is this going to work? Okay, we'll come back to that. So this is, I still think, is pretty cool. So this is in uh, windowed mode, a borderless windowed mode. Um, so I can bring up the start screen. Uh, so I can pan around this while Dota 2 fails to connect on my left hand screen. Hopefully you can see this, um, but I've pinned Dota 2 and Steam to my start screen. Um, this was fairly difficult um, because Steam is not, uh, they aren't standard applications. Uh, it took a little bit of work to get them pinned. You can also see that they're very dull tiles. I can't make them pretty and attractive like these. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, I presume that uh, Valve needs to put some code in uh, to make them work as live tiles. So they're just boring single tiles. It's a bit weird that I can't even resize them. So for example if I click Steam, Steam comes up just like that. And then I hit Windows key again. I'm back here. What's happening to Dota? One thing you notice is the Alt tab brings up the menu on that screen. So it's complicated. I, if you saw in the last video I moved the start screen to that display but on a multi-monitor setup, the start screen would normally be down here, but Alt-Tab would still be on this screen. So something's not quite right. I don't know what's up with Dota. Let's try again. Here we go. So we're just going to play a quick game. Nevermore. Never never, never, never it seems I can't play with bots. Maybe I haven't connected. Okay. Well, we'll watch another game. You don't want to see me play Dota anyway. It would be embarrassing. Again, while this is happening, we can bring up the start screen. And we can Alt-Tab. It performs just like Windows 7 in this regard. This is IE10, by the way, on Metro. It's very fast. Very, very slick. Yeah. 
I have noticed that network performance does seem to be a bit, a bit faster on Windows 8. Um, I don't know if that's anecdotal or real, um, but pages do seem to load quicker in Windows 8 than in Windows 7, but we'll investigate that more in the future. So here. So you can see, it performs. It, it's fine. And I'll show you just one more thing. Uh, I suppose I can show you uh, some resource usage, or and some multitasking. So, if we go to Internet Explorer 10. Well, for a start, we can see that slows down, um, but that's normal because it's switching out of focus for the CPU. If you can hear the CPU, it slows down when I tab out. So I'm going to bring up Task Manager, which you can still do with Control Shift Escape. Now, I think there's some weird behavior here. When I click Task Manager, I think that will minimize. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now here we go. So. So then I alt tab to the task manager. You cannot Yeah. You cannot use the task manager while Metro is up. And I'm sure that's a bug. I hope it's a bug. But I know that there's some new interaction between the task manager and Metro. For example, you can double click here to bring up a Metro app. So if I double click Internet Explorer, that comes up, which is very nice. So maybe maybe it's intentional. I don't know. Uh, let's go back to Task Manager, uh, and we can see some performance here. This is memory, CPU, and we put Dota as the focus, we can hear the CPU. memory, memory is flat, ethernet, okay, anyway, that's gaming on Windows 8, consumer preview with a multi-monitor setup, and I'm Sebastian for Extreme Tech. Next time we're going to look at some applications like Photoshop, uh, Word, Excel, that kind of thing. Goodbye for now.